The Koi Lady Channel is pleased to have you back. The news is breaking, everyone. There will be no resolution to the SEC vs Ripple dispute. They just reached an agreement, I see. The SEC and Ripple were in agreement on this one point. They're absolutely raving about it. Why break up the celebration? I say we simply keep going. We can simply continue filing documents. Public funds will be used for this. Money will be spent by Ripple. You're in for an unforgettable experience. This litigation, at least, appears to have no end in sight, does it not? This is due in part to the fact that there is yet another advancement, yet, I find this to be an excellent and intriguing development anyway. Just the other day, there was a Ripple filing. Is this what you see? It has been reported, hasn't it? See the top story in the crypto basic Ripple files, new motion rejects XRP price suppression claim. Out of all this, that's the part about the asset that I find most intriguing to talk about. Also, I won't give too much away by not telling you this right at the beginning of the video. However, this is a subject that attorney Bill Morgan does address. However, from my point of view, it is clear that Ripple is not trying to artificially lower the price of XRP through ODL sales, certainly not through dumping on the market. This is because, to put it simply, we will delve further into this topic later on in the film. With XRP serving as a bridge currency, ODL sales are the reason behind it. That, you know, originates in a genuine ecology, in the form of true demand. Do you know how to demand? So? What are the best ways to sell XRP so that it may be sold? No big deal, it's used. In a market where demand exists, how is it that ODL sales are dumping on the industry? Later in the video, we'll go more into why that doesn't add up. I should preface this by saying that I come from absolutely no financial background. You should not invest based on my recommendations, because I am not a financial advisor. As a hobby and for fun, I enjoy making films on YouTube regarding crypto-related subjects, I'm just an enthusiast. The latest headline in the Crypto Basic Ripple files is that the claim about the suppression of the XRP price has been dismissed. In response to allegations regarding the effect of ODL-related sales on the price of XRP, the San Francisco-based cryptocurrency payment provider Ripple Labs has recently submitted a response in the SEC litigation, according to attorney Bill Morgan. This is just another hard reply letter in support of the motion to seal exhibits pertaining to the SEC motions for remedies and judgment. As usual, attorney James K. file and shared Ripple's, the latest filings on social media, and acts like a true professional. He has been dropping all the documents pertaining to the SEC v. Ripple case for years now. Shout out and give credit where it's due nevertheless, because you have to love and appreciate that. No changes have been made to the status quo. You may remember that on May 21, the US SEC rejected the Ripple's omnibus sealing motion, citing concerns that the requests to seal could potentially conceal important information that could be crucial to the court's decision on remedies. Specifically, the SEC asked the court to deny Ripple's latest motion to keep secret the terms and financial data utilized to establish and defend the remedy requests. The regulatory body was also against Ripple's request to keep secret the specifics of the discounts given to large institutions who purchased XRP. So, I recall the moment this occurred and my first reaction upon realizing this was the SEC goal, holy hypocrisy, you little baby back biatras, you little asshat pricks. They've spent the last several years attempting to conceal everything, every document, and everything from us. People in general. Is Bill Hinman a name known to you? Does anybody exist? So they're against openness in that area, but when it comes to Ripples, they're all for it. These are matters of deep personal business, things that neither the XRP community nor the general public need to know. We need the transparency now, according to that premise. Just stop talking. If you're looking for a corrupt government agency, go no further than this one. The status quo is unchanged Ripple highlighted in its most recent filing that it had previously reacted to two arguments put out by the SEC in its May 21 opposition brief, 
but that it had already addressed a number of the SEC's concerns in its objection to the regulatory agency's remedies-related opening brief. In its motion for a remedy decision, Ripple argues that the SEC has wrongly claimed that information about its present financial situation is pertinent. In order to safeguard its own and other parties' interests, the company has made it clear that it is not contesting its ability to pay the calculated penalty, but rather is seeking to seal extremely sensitive business information. The quote in question is this provided here. It is unacceptable that the SEC can use unfounded grounds to try to get Ripples to reveal their private financial information, especially when the judge can dismiss the case without looking at the secret facts. End. Quote. Do you find that intriguing? No one should be surprised when the SEC says no bear all even though a determination may be reasonably made without this information. Feel free to release all those lovely confidential Ripple financial figures. Release them to the whole public. What makes that possible? You see, the point is to harm and observe. I am not an attorney, so I have no idea what will happen next. A lawyer. Depending on what information gets out, I don't see how this would be useful for Ripple, any of their clients, or anything else. I just play around on YouTube a lot. Personally, I don't think it's appropriate to identify a consumer in this context. My guess is that a lot of verbals on demand. Liquidity clients would rather remain anonymous because they are embarrassed to flaunt their newfound technological prowess and fear that their rivals will steal their thunder. Well, it's obvious that they're being dishonest. Everyone, the piece remains, the agency grants are really repulsive. Secondly. Additionally, Ripple took issue with SEC's claim that its previous contracts are moot because of the way it changed its sales strategy. Regarding XRP, the business cited a statement made by its CFO, Jonathan Butch, which stressed the need of keeping these contracts secret and how future parties could benefit from knowing the original conditions of negotiation. Furthermore, Ripple argued that the sale of XRP does not anymore fit the criteria that the court identified as sales to institutions during summary judgment. And thus, everyone, there has been, and I ask you, why? I don't see the discussion surrounding XRP's potential worldwide bridge currency use as problematic. I. In this video, I prefer not to reiterate my thoughts on the matter because I have already expressed them. Regarding the possibility of XRP serving as a bridge currency, it wouldn't be able to touch any corridor leading to the US, would it? Is its use warranted? Fortunately, it appears that there are definitely ways around that. Here is a quote for you. Selling XRP to consumers for usage with Ripples is what Ripples is all about right now. The over-the-counter contracts, which include discounts given to sophisticated counterparties, do not apply to ODL products. Ripple used that quote. You may remember that we recently found out that Ripple is, technically speaking, I mean, I know they said Ripple's current XRP sales, a subsidiary that isn't even directly overseen by the folks in San Francisco at HQ. While there are other locations, the main hub for this form of transaction commencement was Singapore and it's run separately there as well. They have been utilizing a stable coin called Tether for every route that touches the US, and today they are using XRP for any corridor that does not. In any case, I think it was Tether. Without a doubt, the coin was stable. However, regardless of that. Consequently, solutions have been found. When it comes down to it, you can't stop it from being utilized all over the world, I shouted it loud and clear in the garbage. Do the maths, it doesn't add up. They have been engaging in this weird maneuvering in preparation for the eventuality that they will need to do it for any quarter touch in the US. The video concludes with that. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Coming up shortly, farewell.